Hello everybody and welcome back to Enteraria. So between the last episode and now, I have done a bit of grinding. Um, basically I want to get Matt up to the level that I'm at. He is currently level 48. I am also currently level 48. Uh, today we're going to be fighting the Queen Bee, but uh, besides the levels, I also grinded for some items. Um, currently there is 43 lenses. I still need a ton more vial powder, but I also did get a whole bunch of rotten chunks. Um, and I'm sure you could figure out what the plan is because we do have 10,000 subscribers coming up pretty damn soon. Uh, so I do have some plans for that episode and it's one of the things that I've been told to do the entire time is save up some raccoon boxes. Uh, so I've been not opening them and I hope to get a whole bunch from bosses and we should be able to open up hopefully like 50 or 60 of them all at once and I think that's going to be interesting. Uh, plus other stuff for that episode as well, not just that. Uh, but today, we do have to kill the Queen Bee. Uh, we fought it once, didn't do super well. We also weren't, like, properly leveled. Are you gonna come down? Uh, it doesn't matter, he's gonna follow anyway. Uh, I did bring... Here, I don't need... Here, we'll get to the bottom and I'll drop this. There you go, take it. Uh, I did bring some potions, so we're gonna be using those. But actually, before we go, we have some points to distribute. Uh, so, I... It's a tough one. More damage would be nice. I'm not going to put any more in luck. Uh, it would be nice to actually get rid of this because I don't need it as much as I was expecting it. Like, it doesn't seem to help a whole lot. Uh, but, you know what? Let's put our six points into Dexterity. Get some more damage coming in. And then Mini Mat also has... Uh, I do apologize for that noise. For some reason, when this it, menu's open, uh, there's some weird background noise. It shouldn't be too loud because it's just as loud as everything else and everything else isn't too loud. Uh, but Matt does have 20 points. Now, more damage would be nice, but also more uh, defense and more life gen and more max health and block rate. Like, all of those are very, very useful. Uh, also, wisdom would be nice. I think I did say that I would put a bunch of points into wisdom. It does make the mana cost slightly lower, but the max mana and max uh, mana regen is significantly higher. Uh, so we have 20 points. Let's put 10 in this and 10 in this. Yeah, I think that'll be a good move. Uh, okay, and then we can get rid of this because that noise is terrible. Um, I also did end up getting two money troughs during the fights uh, through all the grinding because we had, uh, I had like three blood moons. Um, I also did make a whole bunch of meteorite shot because it's going to be helpful in this fight today. And I guess we could buff up. So uh, we've explored a lot of, quite a bit of the jungle. Uh, we haven't found the temple yet, which kind of sucks. Uh, and we only found one beehive. So I'm assuming there's probably going to be quite a lot of beehives. So I'm looking to find the beehive and the temple today. Oh, wow. I was not expecting a boulder trap. Yeah, let's go ahead and dispose of this. They actually can't kill me. Um, not in one shot anyway, unless I'm low health. So that's good to know. But still, yeah... I'm I don't like them. <laughs> uh, so the plan is we're going to get all the way down to here and then dig. Uh, because I think that's going to be the best option. If I was smart, I would have... Oops. I would have brought some uh, mining potions. But even then, we're not mining too slow or anything. So it's it should work. Uh, I should use... Actually, I should be using the minigun, not the... Is this far? No, not even close. Whoops. Uh, yeah, I should be using the minigun, not the shotgun, or sorry, the boomstick, simply because the boomstick uh, with these only gets one shot, or technically one's only going to hit. Uh, so, you know, that doesn't really help, so we got to go this way, this way, this way. Uh, both of us have pretty high defense. Um, I have 135 defense, and well, that's with iron skin potion. It's like 95, I think, uh, and Minimat has, I think, about the same. Uh, so, you know, we're doing pretty good for not taking too much damage. Obviously, the boss is going to be uh, a little bit more aggressive. Uh, we're probably going to still take a lot of damage. But I think this time we have it. Since now that we're full level, because obviously uh, last time we fought it, we weren't properly leveled up. Simply because uh, Mini Mat wasn't leveled up enough for me to get my full levels. Uh, but let's go this way down this hole and then we'll dig. Because I was right at the edge and I didn't really want to be there. Although we are still pretty close. Uh, so, man-eaters. They drop an item that make me re... 
uh, respec. And it would be nice to change all my points. I initially wanted it so I could rechange my points so I could be a mage myself. But since we have mini mat, that's not really necessary. Uh, but I still do want to respect so I can get my points out of uh, luck and put them into something else. Uh, so that would be nice. So the man eaters have a 1% chance of dropping it. But so far I haven't seen one. And I for oh, I'm sorry, I forget who it was. But someone else did go and look for them and they spent some time trying to find it. Uh, and they didn't have any luck. They got like 90 vines. So I don't know how many kills that is with man eaters. But 90 vines is quite a lot of kills. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not a one each time, so um, I'm I still like I said I don't know how many kills that would have been, but that plus what I've killed is quite a bit, and uh, they haven't found found the item. Uh, I think it's called the Almighty Stick. Now that I think about it, come here, man eater. It would be nice. Yes, you got one vine there, and I'm pretty sure it's not a hundred percent drop. Uh, so. Uh, the reason I have a Danger Sense Potion as well is it should help find honey. Uh, now, honey doesn't guarantee there's a hive, but it does make it so it's a little bit easier to find them. Because obviously if we find honey, then that's a chance of finding the hive. Uh, let's get... I should have took some jungle quests. Probably would have helped. Uh, that's a pretty big cave, and we haven't been there. Uh, although we could just cut through that little bit there. And go down... Uh, we have a goblin statue. Those don't do anything. They don't uh, have any mobs or anything like that. So, uh, I guess I'm going to pick it up because we have to go through it. But I don't really need it. Uh, see, I don't want to get too far down. Because once we get into lava, Mini Matt really risks dying. Uh, not that there's much threat in him dying because he just respawns after like 10 seconds. Uh, but still, if he picks up any money, I'd hate to see it go. Uh, I should be safe. I could probably take a good hit. How much damage do you do to me now? Uh, okay, 200. Yeah, okay, that's still more than I care to take. Because <laughs> that's uh, seven hits and I'm dead. And that's a lot of hits, but, you know, they add up. Oh, and the traveling merchant is gone. That means it's nighttime already? Jeez, that went quick. Uh, he came, I think at the beginning of the episode? He might have came while I was off camera getting stuff ready. Um... Okay, yeah, we're going to keep going down. Uh, also, a lot of people told me that I screwed up in my crafting of uh, refor not reforging, uh, combining accessories. So, I thought that I could make a, uh, what was it, a lucky balloon? A lucky clown in a balloon, that's it. Uh, but what I did was, I did it in the wrong order, and then I never ended up putting both of these back in my inventory to check. And you can combine them. Uh, I should have done it off camera and just told you about it, but instead I decided not to. And I was going to do it on camera, but then I realized I'm going to be in the jungle. Oh. Goodbye, Mini Matt. Hopefully he didn't have any money on him, or any real amount of money. He shouldn't have. Uh, I haven't seen honey yet, which kind of sucks. If we come near the temple as well, we should be able to see that pretty easily as too, uh, because it's full of traps. Uh, although, you know, the edges... Well, I guess the edges do come up against it. I want to kill 50 man-eaters. I'm going to drown. I thought I killed more than that. Oh, well. But either way, I still will end up grinding. Uh, I also do want more life crystals. Right now, uh, I checked at the beginning of the episode. I could also check here. Uh, we need three more life crystals for me, and Matt needs two more. Uh, so, we need to get some life crystals. There is one around, but... I don't have a Splunker Potion to show me. So if we come across it, then I'll take it. But I'm not going to hunt it down. Because I do want to use these... Oh, there it is. Because <laughs> I do want to use these potions efficiently. Uh, so there we go. 1,500 health. Okay, Maneater. You can go. I will at some point also have to get Matt a new weapon. Because he can't be using the space gun forever. Uh... I also, off-camera, did pick up a couple more mushrooms. Uh, I had to go down and grab them because I ran out of shine potions. Uh, and I did get one seed, so I could start making my farm, which is nice. But I will grab some extra mushrooms here because, you know, a farm's not something I could just do instantly. Uh, and I'm going to end up mining everything. So let's turn off smart cursor. Uh, give me all the mushrooms. I don't care who picks it up. I'll probably just drop them for him if I need inventory space. And there's a whole bunch over here. I don't really want to spend forever doing this. i got to find a hive. 
I'm not expecting a hive to take too long because there's normally like 10 of them in a jungle in a large world. Uh, so, you know, we found one within a massive area that we explored. So, you know, more shouldn't be that big of a deal. Also, I did pass a house up there and I, it never even registered until now. <laughs> oh, well, I'm not too worried about it. There's, I don't think there's anything left that's useful. So that goes that way. There's another life crystal around. Again, I'm not going to find it. I'm not going to hunt it down, but if we come across it, then, you know, good. Uh, still no honey. No hive, no honey. This is not good. Um, and once we do kill a queen bee, hopefully uh, there will be enough time. Ah, marble. Uh, hopefully there will be enough time. I do want to go over and see how many of the items we could craft. Uh... The summon items, that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, because we do have all that stuff in the piggy bank and I do need a demon altar. Oh, I got stone. Shit. Okay, die Medusa. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, there's a lot of mobs in here. Okay. Hey, raccoon box. I don't know where Mini Matt went. But I could have used him for that. <laughs> uh, I'm assuming Medusa could also get him. I don't know if they could get both of us at the same time, which would suck. I'm assuming so. That's actually an interesting thought. Uh, okay, so anyway, uh, I should health up and get this way, out of this mess. Uh, holy crap, look at all the piranhas down here. Piranhas aren't what I'm looking for, though. Um, yeah, there's no, no honey anywhere. No hives. Uh, that's a nice big cave. We're gonna go this way. Actually, this leads right into it. I don't have to do much digging. Uh, okay, honey, honey, honey. Oh, there it is. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. If I could get out. So, I need a spot to fight. Um, inside looks a little bit small. I'm also kind of afraid of Matt. Actually, these bullets won't be good in here. Because I was gonna kill these, but it'll just ricochet off and possibly hit the thing. Which I'm thinking is over here. Because there's... It was splashing in honey there. Oh, really? Um, I guess I could fight it right here. I'm going to grab this. Look at all the honey on the ground around here. I also have to get myself back up to full health. Because I'm not going to fight it weakened. And figure out where the hell Matt went. Yeah, that's a good question. Oh. Oh, he's right here. Okay, uh, so I'll take this one. Yeah, the raccoon box, I don't know why, but the picture occasionally is kind of weird. Uh, the last time, a couple episodes ago, it was completely different. And this time, it's good up until a certain point, and then it's all weird pixely. Uh, so I'm not exactly sure what that's about, but it doesn't seem to affect anything. Go away, Bat. Uh, Matt, what are you trying to get? Now, I know uh, people have said that maybe he's trying to get like out into a cave where he's trying to pick up items or kill a mob. But when I was at the surface, I had him in the house uh, with me, and he never went for anything. If there was an item that he couldn't get to, he didn't do it. If there was uh, a mob nearby, he didn't go and try to kill it. So I don't know what he's doing. I think the AI is just a little too stupid for caves. Hey, what do you think you're doing? It would really suck to have a Medusa spawn during the fight. Uh, and we're going to potion up and stand still. Actually, I should get in honey. Okay, well, either way, let's dig through this. Oh, crap. I'm going to have to probably pickaxe these. Uh, so, not in there, right? Okay. Okay, slimes, come down. Get out. Get out. And there's another one. Give me the hive. There we go. Okay, so the spawner should be, as long as Matt doesn't spawn in here, should be just over here. So we're going to light this up. Uh, in here actually might not be a bad spot to fight it. I don't have a whole lot of horizontal. But I do have vertical. Which gives me a lot of room to go up and down. And Matt's kind of contained. Okay. You can get out of here. I'm going to grab this wood and make some platforms so I'm not standing in honey. Because I think that'll be a smart move. But I have to also get Matt to spawn in there. Which I'm hoping as soon as I go to the top of that he will. Uh, because if he doesn't, I'm kind of screwed. <laughs> uh, okay, so we got mahogany. Let's go ahead and make these. My inventory's full. Okay, so this goes just along here. 
Yeah, stay in there. Don't come in here and don't blow this up before I'm ready. Because I need to be full health. If I'm not full health, then this will probably not go super well. We'll try to drain this honey. Oh, I almost... Ooh, I almost screwed up and I sh almost shot my weapon. Okay, there we go. That honey's covered. Uh, we'll cover this as well. Okay, now the real question. I'm going to kill this so Matt doesn't try to fight it. Can I get him to spawn in here? Come here. Oh, man, look at my health. I have to use another potion. Come on. There we go. Okay. Um, risky to do it now. Well, I'm actually, you know what? Let's just get full health before I do anything that could strain. <laughs> the last thing I want is for it to spawn when I'm not quite ready. Come on, come on, come on. That's one problem with having so much health is it takes a long time to get full. Because even though our uh, heal rate is slightly higher, it's still not, you know, super quick. Um... And obviously, I could keep going for life regen here, which probably wouldn't be a bad idea. But that's also more max me ma uh, words, max health. So the real question is, would we get m regen faster than we would be getting max health? Because if we end up with like 5,000 health at some point, and we only get like 100, I guess, yeah, like 100, no, like 50 per second or something, that's, that's still pretty slow. But... Come in here, Matt. Oh, we have a Medusa over there. No, he didn't. Come in here, Matt. Come over. Come up. I don't know how I'm going to get him in here. Uh, I could dig through this. I guess that's my best bet. Okay, those are doing a lot of damage. Oh, risky, risky. Oh, I did not want to shoot that. Yeah. They do like 100-something damage each. Okay. Matt, I need you to come up. There you go. Okay. Now don't shoot nothing. I gotta get my health back and then we're ready to go. Hopefully he'll be smart enough to stay in here and not jump through that hole for some stupid reason. Or jump down there. I could, uh... Yeah. Safety first. Now you have nowhere to go. See, he still wants to jump up there. But either way, uh, as soon as the Queen Bee's here, he should start shooting. Uh, so we are basically ready. Yeah, see I have 95 health, uh, 95 defense. Uh, then Iron Skin Potion boosts that. I can't... Will you take this? No, will you use this? I don't think so. Probably not. Okay, so health, health, health. Oh, I wish there was a faster way to do this. I could use a potion, but then I gotta wait to use a potion during the fight. And I, I'd like to use it whenever possible. Uh, it should only take a few more seconds. Uh, and then we have Skeletron, which is maybe gonna be hell. With both of us, we both have piercing weapons, so it might not be too bad. Uh, also, I should use... What other class stuff do we have? Uh, so that's good. See, I do have these. I only have 10 points, so I could fill up. Now, if I'm Matt, he does... I should actually play as Matt. Uh, but then Matt has lower health overall. Not too much. Yeah, no, I'm not going to. Uh, but he does have some things that I'd be willing to use. Because he has uh, the ability to put out Demon Scythes. And it puts out like two or three of them. And they do like thousands of damage. But obviously it does have um, a cooldown. So it's not something you could just spam and kill everything. But it would help, and it doesn't seem like the AI uses it. Uh, and I can't be damned to uh, screw around with these. Because that's damage 100% plus 25 per skill level. So that would be 300% damage. Making it so that 86 plus that. So that's, let's say, just 200. So that'd be like 600 damage. And pierces... Well, I guess piercing is kind of irrelevant. And then double shooting. Uh, damage increases 20%. So I give us up to 200 See, they're not bad, but just going up and trying to press F1s, chances are I'd rather be moving. Uh, either way, we are full health. We are ready to go. So, let's do this. I'll use that. Use that. Hunter, so we can see it coming. And there it is. Okay, Queen Bee, bring it. Okay, try to do this without dying. 
Actually, I should shoot like this. That way I have some, I guess, shots preloaded into the area. Oh, man. Okay. See, we're both getting some real good shots in. And Matt decided to be stupid. And he's going to end up dead. That's okay. Shit happens. Come here, come here, come here. As long as I stay alo alive long enough. Actually, we're we're much better off this time. Holy crap, it's almost dead. I think this time I overprepared. prepared Last time I wasn't prepared enough. Uh, and that was mostly because Matt screwed my levels up. Okay, and there we go. Oh, man. That wasn't as bad as I thought. And we got five raccoon boxes from that, too. Get away, bees. Okay. So, that was... We got to talk to the nurse to get that quest done. Um, but... What did we get? I should give this to Matt. 65 damage with bees. Like, these are... Here, Matt, you take that. Now, I wonder. He does have that armor on. If I give him... Here, give me the beeswax. If I give him this in this slot, when he doesn't have mana, would he use that? That is a very good question. Uh, I should also... Here, take... Some of, here, let's get rid of this noise. Uh, take that, take that, take that, because we got some more stuff I want to do. Take, take, take. Oh, is he picking them back up? Oh, sorry, am I picking them up? It doesn't seem like it, but I was getting some stuff back. Here, keep picking up this crap. I don't need it. Um, yeah, I could also make him super bee-like. Because a lot of these accessories would help quite a bit. Here. Pick this up. He doesn't seem to know how to deal with that. Okay, well, either way, I'm clear enough. Let's go. Uh, I got 55 gold? Where the hell did I pick up that much money? Okay, so we need piggy bank. Uh, and we're going to just quick stack. And we're going to take these. I should shift click? Yeah, that does work. I'm really cautious about shift clicking. Uh, because <laughs> I don't want to get in the habit of doing it right now. Because if I'm on his menu... Then shift click throw stuff away, which is kind of risky. Uh, but we do have corruption just over here. Oh, that's a lot of piranhas. Here. Oh, bees don't really work in the water. Actually, they did seem to be doing something. Get away. Uh, so we're going to make all those. And then next episode, we're going to go into Skeletron. And it's great that I got seven more raccoon boxes. So all together, we got... I think I have like 14 or something like that already in the chest. Uh, so that brings us to like 20... Uh, 21 technically uh, and then all the bosses I plan on fighting are gonna get us quite a bit more as well so we're just gonna drop down here make them I might do an eater of worlds fight just to uh, get Matt a worm scarf because that would be nice yeah. I should also go on the surface and get all the mushrooms I can because I am lacking them uh, okay so I need okay let's is there a way this way no. This goes down into nothing. Uh, get out. Where does this go? Holy crap. Real deep. And there's two chests here. I wish I came down here initially. That would have been a nice find. I guess now it doesn't really matter as much. Uh, but let's go ahead and bomb. I don't know how many I have broken. So this one might spawn it. Does Matt take damage from my bombs? No, oh, I guess I won't find out. Okay, let's put it here. No. Okay, and Band of Star Power, which is something I'm going to give him eventually. That plus uh, Celestial... and Well, that, I guess the Celestial Cuffs is what I want. And he'll probably never run out of mana. I should check those chests, but I can't be damned to get... Like, I could just mine through it, but I, I don't care that much. There's probably nothing useful. And yeah, mining takes forever. I got gel. Oh, I got one sticky bomb. It's okay. One's better than none. <laughs> okay. Oh, hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay, and we're just going to drop bombs. All right. One, two, three, four. Just drop, drop, and then we'll make all this. Uh, so we got... Seven I have Cthulhu's. And only four of these. See, I got a lot of rotten chunks. I just need to get mushrooms. And I don't think I could farm them. 
And that can go in and break that. And no, we still need one more. Uh, does this... Oh, that goes all the way over there. Okay, well, I do have to go to the surface anyways. Because I do want mushrooms. Can you not block me? What's... Oh, it's right here. Uh, also, shine. So I can actually see... Oh, this is where I kind of wish I was using Matt, because he has wings. <laughs> it's a little bit easier. Uh, okay, mushroom, mushroom. So let's grab the pickaxe and just clear off the surface. Um, are there really none over here? Yeah, no. None that way. That sucks. Mm, yeah, I'm, I might have to make an underground farm or something. Just to make it a little bit easier to get mushrooms. Because I, yeah, there's one. So that's one, I guess. Better than nothing, but still not anywhere near enough. Uh, so that doesn't go down. How about this one? Nope. And we have another one over here we're going to test. Oh, come on. Please go down. Please go down. I don't have to come back up this far. Hey, there we go. Okay, so. And there's an orb. Okay. One, two, and I gotta get my other bombs. One, two, three. This should be an easy fight. We should be more than okay. Okay, and apparently he's down there fighting mini Matt. <laughs> there we go. Kill, 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 kill. And luckily, Matt's gonna go and pick up all the loot for me. Oh my god, it's a massacre. And you just have, what, that one segment left? I'm not doing anything. The Oh man, those bees just massacred it. I kind of want to do three more, but I, I don't really want to find three more. Like, we got one, two. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Okay. Oh, Matt, you didn't pick up any of this. Come on. That's your job. Hey, raccoon boxes. Eight. No, one. Okay, <laughs> I've seen Evanstone eight. I was like, ah, oh, shit, that's fantastic. Um, I wonder if we did get any other ones, because he might have been picking them up. Because all those segments do help with raccoon boxes. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not going to go for another one. Uh, how many do you have? Oops. Mini mat. You got seven, so the seven I gave you. Give me this. You could also have that raccoon box. Uh, okay, so let's open this up. Eater of World's Mask. Ah, I look terrifying. Here, take this. Hey, that's guarding. Give me that. Who picked it up? He did. Because <laughs> that's better than mine. That's, I think guarding's what, two defense? Uh, but, I guess we are ready to go, uh, home. And, yes, next episode we are gonna go ahead and fight the, or, try to fight the dungeon, uh, Skeletron, that's the word. Uh, so that may or may not go well. I do have to go and figure out how I'm gonna get more, more spawners. Uh, speaking of spawners, not speaking of spawners, but that reminded me. Uh, I got 28 raccoon boxes, plus 7. Uh, so that's pretty good. Plus, I do have some presents. Um, I'm saving these because obviously I can't get them unless it's uh, the Christmas event. And that is over now. But I want to save these until we get into hard mode. Because in hard mode, uh, they also drop the snow globe. Which we could use to summon the Frost Legion. Yes, the Frost Legion. Uh, so that would be nice. And I, I should have got more because there's a chance we might not get it. Uh, but I did save at least, you know, 70 of them. So that's better than nothing. And I got to hope for the best. Where did all of my money go? Oh, yes, I put it away. Yes, like a smart person. Uh, I also do have to get another house going because I need the Goblin Tinkerer to live up here because currently he's still down in here. Um, and I want to do reforging and get these all probably up to defense because defense is a massive boost. And getting another 20 defense is probably going to bring us up to like 150 to 200 uh, total defense. And that would be nice. I, I think that would be a real good use of uh, reforging. Because then we'd just be able to absorb stupid amounts of damage. Uh, but for now that is going to be it. Um, I'm going to have to try to get over here. And I'm not sure how hard the fight's going to be. But, you know, only one way to find out. And I have to clear out inventories. Uh, it's such a pain. But, you know, you gotta do what you have to do. So, yes, thank you everyone for watching, and I hope you all have a great day. Wait, 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 wait. We gotta talk to the nurse. Get this quest done. 
What am I doing? That was like one of the main things we did today is finish that quest. Oh, and traveling merchant. What do you have? Uh, nothing. He has a DPS counter, but I don't care that much. Uh, so that's done. So we got to talk to the arm dealer for the next one. Um, and I don't need this. What do we have? Uh, talk to the guide. Okay, so I have been finishing some stuff. Uh, I have quests, I guess, pre-finished. Not on purpose, just how it is. Uh, talk to an old man. Now, is that talk to him normally? Well, I guess it'll come up. Or is that Skeletron? Because it'd be nice to have two Skeletrons that way. Because I know it's going to be part of the main quest. Uh, so it'd be nice to get both of them done at once. So I don't have to try to fight him again. Uh, but, yeah. That's for next episode. So I'm assuming as soon as we talk to him, he's going to tell us to, you know, free him from his agony. Or some shit like that. Uh, so, yes. Anyway, for now, that is it. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And I hope you all have a great day. See ya.